Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the session on Compute Security Baseline. My name is Guru Prasad Venkatesha. I'm a senior program manager in Azure Security. I PM the Azure Baseline effort. I also would be joined by my with my colleagues, uh, Michael Green from Azure Policy Guest Configuration Team, and also Amit Bitton from Azure Security Center in, the, in today's session. Today, we'll walk you through the experience of Compute Baseline in Azure Policy Guest Configuration with the user experience available in ASC. The fe this feature is currently in public preview. In this slide, I would, I would like to provide a brief background of the Computer Security Baseline in Azure. We currently support two platform specific types, uh, that is Windows and Linux operating system. The baseline provides specific security configuration to secure the VM. The baselines have specific security controls that are applicable to cloud compute. IT security professionals, risk managers would be able to audit security configurations on the compute OS to measure alignment to security recommendations and make changes to the OS to ensure that OS configuration settings are compliant with the baseline recommended settings. The compute baseline is a cloud-centric baseline that also provides alignment to various industry standards and benchmark. It helps to evaluate evolving risk and identify relevant changes to the baselines in cloud compute. Currently, Azure Compute Baseline aligns to Microsoft Baselines and CIS Benchmark. The baselines are updated at regular intervals. The process involves changing the baseline rules to reduce evolving risk and validate applicability to cloud standards. We continue to, to expand alignment to other industry standards and controls applicable to cloud compute environments. In this slide, I want to walk you through the process of the baseline continuous monitoring process. The first step in this is we have compute baselines that have definitions that support both Windows and Linux VMs. The evaluation of the baseline definition is done through a JSON built-in policy when enabled. The Azure Policy Guest Configuration Agent helps monitor the baseline settings on the host VMs. The results are available in ASC to help customers get summary of their VM compliance and see the results, which is pass or fail, detailed results for further investigation. The ASC provides additional content and about the baseline, which includes description, uh, impact, and a better understanding of the vulnerability. The monitoring of the baseline is, a, is, a, is by default a continuous process. VMs are continuously monitored for baseline changes. This slide provides an overview of the supported OS and the related versions in the compute baselines. We continue to add additional support to the newer OS versions. Like for Windows 2022, it, the updated version will be available by end of this calendar year. Excited to share our future roadmap and upcoming features. We have the Azure Policy Guest Configuration Monitoring in public preview. It will soon be available in GA. We're also working on a key feature of, of remediation that will provide capability to auto-remediate baseline settings that don't align with the recommended secure settings. With also additional work, customer will be able to customize default settings aligned to the risk of the organization we will be announcing those uh, key milestones in a public facing docs. Thanks Guru. So I wanna just go through for a couple of minutes, what is Azure Guest Configuration and how can it benefit this scenario? So Guest Configuration is the ability to manage configurations for servers that are either in Azure or Arc connected. And it's natively built into Azure. So you don't have any special accounts or anything like that. And this will give you the ability to see the reports um, through Azure Resource Manager in the portal, in Azure Security Center. Uh, it's also pumped into Azure 
resource graph. So if you want to use big data queries and look across your entire estate, you can do things like that. And of course, it's also written to the activity log. So if you want to look at something like arm change history to understand, hey, my machine was compliant. When did it become not compliant and things like that? It's all just built into Azure as a native capability. This is also all the way integrated into Azure Security Center. So whenever you see in Azure Security Center, uh, the things that we'll be looking at today about checking the state of baselines and things like that, this is all just Azure Guest configuration being surfaced into that Security Center experience. This is absolutely the successor to everything we did in configuration prior to this capability. So that means Azure Automation State Configuration, DSC Extension. We tried to take the best out of each of those capabilities and take the customer feedback and bring them together into a single experience that met, that met all of the previous asks. And obviously this is a work in progress. We're gonna continue adding new features, but the one that might stand out that would interest you the most right away is we now support as many configurations as you want to manage independently. You don't have to do partial configurations or anything like that. So if you want to have five scenarios being audited and you also want to deploy three configurations, you can just do that now natively in Azure. So just some quick examples of how else you might use this feature Sure. Think about things like I want to audit what security protocols are in use or who has admin access or what applications are installed or even simple things like is this machine pending reboot or what can it access on the network? Maybe I want to make sure it doesn't have internet access. You can do things like that. It doesn't have to be strictly security related. On the flip side of that, if you want to think about what you can configure inside machines, some common scenarios we've been hearing from customers are things like I want to push third-party software into the machine like agents. And then I want to actually verify their health and bring them back into a healthy state if something goes wrong. So besides just the install, you might see something like a service needs to be running or a daemon that needs to be running and you want to automatically restart it if something goes wrong. That seems to be pretty common scenarios. And then of course, we are looking at all the different ways that for the Azure Windows and Linux baselines that will help you to apply those settings inside machines and not just audit them. So that's a little bit of what our roadmap looks like. Uh, we do have dependencies. So the machine has to have a managed identity and it needs to have an extension. So Azure doesn't have the ability to reach inside of a customer's private virtual machine. That, that's basically just a box that we can see, right? We can't reach inside and look at your private data. So this extension allows the security capability um, that you're seeing today to reach inside that machine and perform the audit. And if you look at the scenarios we're gonna be seeing today as recommendations, it's again, just the audit side of what you're seeing on the screen. So specifically, how do you make those extensions, how do you get them there? How do you make them available on your machines? Well, we've actually integrated this into Security Center. So you have the ability to have this happen automatically. If you go into Security Center under Settings and then click on Auto Provision, down here on this very bottom box where it says Guest Configuration Agent, you just turn that to On and that will take care of meeting all the requirements so that this, this capability can then conduct an audit inside your machine and be able to go check each of those settings. Similarly, if you aren't ready to turn on auto provisioning, but you just want to go see across your machines, maybe you're using Azure Policy to handle all of these things, or you're putting it in your ARM template, so it should be there all the time, and you just wanna kinda go look for gaps where the dependencies are not met, there's another policy under recommendations. If you look under implement security best practices, you'll see two items there. One checks to see the extension, the other the identity. So it just gives you a very easy way to look across your estate and say, do I have any machines? Like it's important to me that, the, that I'm checking these baselines across all my machines. Are any machines not there where they can actually be checked? This just makes your life easy and shows you those results. So that's it for me. I'll hand it back. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Amit, and I'm a PM in Microsoft Defender for Cloud, which is from today, the new name of Azure Security Center. Thanks, Michael and Guru, for your presentation. After discussing about what is the Compute Security Baseline and Guest Configuration, let's talk about Compute Security Baseline in Microsoft Defender for Cloud. Microsoft Defender for Cloud audits the new Compute Security Baseline continuously as part of the Azure Security Benchmark which is the default security policy ran by Microsoft Defender for Cloud 
to ensure secure cloud deployments. In addition, the Compute Security Baseline is presented as Microsoft Defender for Cloud Recommendations, providing enriched information about the security misconfigurations to facilitate the remediation process. Last but not least, the Compute Security Baseline is integrated into the Secure Score model of Microsoft Defender for Cloud to help us understand the security posture status of our environment. Now, we will see a demo of how the Compute Security Baseline looks like in Microsoft Defender for Cloud. From the main page of Microsoft Defender for Cloud, we will go to the Recommendations page, where we can see the compliance results of the continuous assessments done by Microsoft Defender for Cloud, formatted as a recommendation, describing the checks, the potential impact, the affected workloads, and the remediation steps that are needed to be taken. In the Recommendations page, we will expand the security control named Remediate Security Configuration, and we will see two recommendations that show the operating system security baseline compliance, one for Windows machines and the second one for Linux machines. The recommendation's name is Vulnerabilities in Security Configurations on your Windows slash Linux machines should be remediated, powered by guest configuration, as you can see here. On the unhealthy resources column on the right, we will be able to see how many machines were found as incompliant, so we can act upon. Now, we will select the Windows recommendation to deep dive into the findings to see the missed configurations that were found along with the affected machines. In this page, we can see at the bottom the list of settings that were found as misconfigured by the Compute Security Baseline. We call each of these lines a baseline rule. So let's say, for example, that I want to make sure that in my organization, a password is required for every remote desktop connection to a machine. Let's look for this one here by searching this setting. By selecting this rule, a new page is opened and provides us with much more information about the specific rule, elaborating the description along with more general information. It also provides us with the impact of this rule, the vulnerability that can be exploited, and the remediation steps that we can take to properly configure these settings on the machine. And here at the bottom, we can see all machines that were found as incompliant. Another option to explore and discover the security misconfigurations in our environment is to use the affected resource area. By using this, we can deep dive into a specifically selected machine to see all its misconfigured settings. Let's see how it looks like. Let's select the Windows machine for an example. By selecting that, we land in a new page elaborating all misconfigured rules of that selected machine. As we've seen before, by selecting a specific rule, a new page is opened and display more information on the selected rule. The same flow that we've just seen for Windows machines goes for Linux by selecting the recommendations that evaluate Linux machine security misconfigurations. Let's briefly see how it works. This was our demo of Compute Security Baseline in Microsoft Defender for Cloud.